absolutely love Eastbook 1 and 2. Alan Oppenheimer's tonsils were in more of our childhoods than we knew. Yes, I know. Skeletor, he man. <laughs> I don't want to be good. I want to be evil. <laughs> um, East Book 1 and 2. Yeah. Isn't it? I don't remember. Hold on. It's not the Q, is it? Nope. Wrong thing. This disc is for use with the TurboGrafx-16 CD-ROM system only. This disc contains computer data and is not for audio use. Please press stop on your disc player. Oh, sure. Hi, sweetie. We got the cat cam right here. Hey, such a stinker. All right. Um, <laughs> Alan Hoppenheimer was all over the place in her childhood, and we never knew. And we never knew, He-Man. All right. Hi, kitty cat. Come here. You're such a pain in the ass. Dude, you need to get your Turbo Duo back, my friend. Let's watch the intro for East Book 1 and 2. It's so freaking good. It's honestly one of the most amazing intros I've ever seen. Ever. East, the ideal utopia. Did, do you hear this right now? Okay. Once a country so peaceful and prosperous. A country where children were as free as the wind. A country where harmony blew through the hearts of all men. Peace. A kingdom ruled by the wisdom and charity of its six powerful priests. An empire watched over and blessed by the enchanting aura of its two beautiful goddesses. Peace. The seemingly tranquil paradise yeah, that's suddenly crazy, right? pulled from the height of its civilization to the empty abyss of infinite isolation. How could such a land of promise simply vanish from the face of the planet? How could such prosperity be forgotten? The legend has been silenced for over 700 years. And now, and now the mystery unfolds. unfolds. Yeah, for real. Um, think about that. Like, how good the voice acting was in this game. And then in East 3 on the Turbo, they really did not put much effort into it at all. It was like the interns from down the street. Guy who operates the printer. Okay, let me see you where we're at. Oh shit. Okay, there we go. All right, here we go. We're rocking through this. 
I'll turn the volume up for this. Another cutscene. This is the cutscene for the intro of East 2. to Dom Tower has been cut off. What should we do to stop this rogue? His bravery presents an interesting challenge. Let's see how far this Adol character can go before we crush him. Very well then, sir. cutscene. found you lying here on the ground, your body surrounded by a pure white light. This is the land of East. There are many goons patrolling this area. Quickly, let's go to my village before they find us. Let's go. Right, let's go. Turn the volume down just a smidge. Yeah, that's the one thing about Turbo games, is you can tell the chiptunes music and the PSG music. The, I'm sorry, the Red Book audio music. The concept is this. The game data is stored on the CD-ROM and then is read into a working RAM which the original CD unit had 64Ks of. The Super CD format had 256K. So the disc, data, disc loads data into the working RAM and runs the program here. Then this game program in RAM can play CD audio. However, the data gets used up fast. Therefore, you often see one level or area that is loaded between stages. 
Though the MC's role in this Dragon Slayer voice matches his appearance much worse. Oh yeah. Well, I'll save. I'll just save here, sure. Oh my god, I got nothing. I got nothing. Great, I lost all my armor and everything. Small shrine is connected to the ruins. I'm here on an evil alert. I've had a slight fever these past few days, but I don't want to tell my mother because I know it will only worry her. Oh, great. You can find Rota tree nuts in the ruins. They have a refreshing flavor. Try them. I am Rudel. I am an apprentice at Guido's store. We lack the raw materials to make new armor. Do you know where we can find some iron ore? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There have been some eerie noises coming from the basement lately. I know you're a great swordsman. Will you go take a look there and see what it is? Sure. I don't have any items though, so I can't do shit. Ugh, oh, I love this music. I don't have any way to use music or magic yet. I don't have any way to do anything yet. But we will be visiting this place very soon. I just have a good feeling about it. There's a small, some small oval shaped stones embedded in the walls of the abandoned mine. I hear that under some unusual circumstances, they will actually glow. Hmm. Jira's house seems haunted. The goons have spread their evil aura again. This, there's an ancient slate laid within the ruins. There's a huge hollow in the basement of the ruins. You cannot go in there without permission from the village senior. Bernice's house. You must be Adel. My daughter Lilia has told me much about you. Lately, Lilia has been looking very healthy, but in fact, she is very sick. We've been told she has only three months to live. I think Dr. Flair might have a cure, but we've been unable to find him. If you happen to see him, would you please give him this letter? There are a lot of goons around here, and it is very dangerous to go out without the proper weapons. Take this money and buy yourself the best sword you can. Adol gets the letter. Oh. Shit, guys, stop, you fuckers. Oh my, oh, and there's some... Should I go blow it on, like, weed and stuff? Oh, yeah. Dun, 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 dun. My husband went out a while ago. I think he is off in the ruins. Oh, that's the senior's house, okay. Boom, 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 boom. That's it, that's the whole town, huh? That's the whole town. Guess we'll go look at a sword. We're gonna buy something crafty. I'm gonna buy... Original CD-ROM had a hue card as its working RAM, which was just like a modern flash card now. The late Super CD card worked the same way flash able, flashable programmable hue card. The Duo basically included this 5, 256 flash RAM on the motherboard. How much... So, Love and Thunder, how much is the arcade card? Is that double? The 256? Is that 512? I don't even really know. Um, not yet. Who are you? As I lay in bed this morning, a dove up happened to fly in my window. A message was tied to its leg. The note was from my brother, Raleigh Flair. It read, While picking herb inside the mine, I heard a sudden crash as the walls of the cave gave in. I'm now trapped inside. Please help. Please save my brother. All right, that's the first mission of East 2, I guess. Oh, jeez, I'm an idiot. Leave her alone, you little bastard. All right, fine. Can I get the katana? No. Can I get the long sword? No. Fucking short sword. Okay, fine. At least I can go buy some uh, 
I'm in the market for buying iron ore. If you have any connections, I pay top dollar. Leave her alone. Little baboon. I'll buy some herbs. Sure. I'll buy a wing, too. But I can't. Oh, yeah, fuck that. It will allow you to revive yourself from the dead, but you can only use it once. It costs 60,000 gold. Oh, sure. It was nice. So nice the TurboGrafx CD had no region lockout. Sega CD had, and all the rest were so disappointing. Uh, Sega CD does have region lockout. It does allow for you to play um, ROMs, though. You know what I mean? The um... Oh, Jesus. Would you stop? I'm such a baby. We often hear of strange screams. A village people are all on edge. Each day seems to prolong our anguish. I never had a card adapter, though. I had no Japanese cards or an arcade card. Oh, yeah. I had um, I had the purple tur purple diving board. The Casado. Right, I was saying everything other than TurboGrafx-60. Okay. Um, but the region lockout for the Sega CD and, like, 3DO and everything else, um, they still allowed you to play burn CDs, though. I believe, right? Like, you can play... Um, C CDRs of Sega CD games. Oh, it's fucking soundtrack. Alright, so how much? Okay. I didn't realize it had a region lock, though. So you can play CD CDRs, but, but the region... They, they're like, you can't play Japanese games, but you can play R Burns. That's funny. Okay. Oh boy. No, I just literally burned a bunch of Sega CD ISOs for a friend who lost his discs, but got, but not his Sega CD. They work no mod needed. Yeah, that's crazy. Hmm. I knew about the, I knew about being able to play um, Sega CD um, ISOs or CDRs. Um, I just didn't realize that it was. Um, I didn't realize you couldn't play Japanese CD ROMs. Cause like, yeah, the Turbo CD stuff. That was the best part about. It. Oh, I found a fruit. Or a nut. Hmm. Isn't it status? There we go. No experience. Holy fuck. That's not good. Need to heal for a minute. <clears throat> Jesus. Oh my god. Ah, that's what happens. Great. Sweet. And that cut my gold in half? That's fucking cool. God damn it, dude. Okay. Oh, that just took me back to where I saved. Okay, okay, that's fine. And that's totally fine. I gotta be better at that. Gonna do the level up grind for a while.
I'm a stall. Oh, a stall. Hey, a stall from Rance Village. Not long ago, the villager senior came and asked me if I had seen a party of two girls. I said that I hadn't, so we went back to the village. Okay. Wait, what? That's it? Okay. Two girls. Hey, did you see some girls around here? A, two, a party with two girls? No, I hadn't. Well, then fuck you. I'm leaving. Okay. That's cool. Region locks is all about protecting each region's market. Oh, okay. If the U.S. released system offers U.S. USA released system offers USA games and people just buy the games from Japan, the profit goes to the Japanese market, not the U.S. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, and I get that. And I know there was a lot of uh, deals with, like, um, games being imported and stuff. Um, so the region's locks were mainly put in as an effort to, like, make the games more difficult to play on the other hardware. But then you just buy the Japanese system and then you're set. No shit. My name is Riggs. I have a favor to ask. I'd like you to, to bring me the contents of the treasure box that the goons are watching over. Ah, oh, Christ. Oh, cool. Okay. The goons... Man, goons and baddies. I love it when they call them goons or baddies. It's so fun. Makes them seem so menacing. Hmm. What? Oh, yeah. That's cool. So I gotta sit here and knock him down like one punch at a time. At least I can heal. faster just to level up. <laughs> You're probably right. Yeah, but how... Oh, duh. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you're probably right. But I almost got this one killed, so I'm just gonna... Got one. Yeah, I thought that when you hit them, they came running after you, though. Must be the first one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's wild to think. Wait. Did I get any experience for killing that guy? What the hell? Oh my fucking god. <laughs> yeah, okay. He came back. That's great. That's just great. Alright. We'll just go level up. We'll go grind for a minute. The the traditional way. Bum, bum. Hmm. I do like an East 4 that you can move diagonally.
Jesus Christ. Oh, fucking damn it. That's cool. Hmm. Good grief. I'm just gonna sit here and grind over here forever. do the red ones give you, though, for experience? I wonder. I wonder. Oh. You're gonna try to double-cross me? You're gonna try to surround me there, fuck faces? Jesus. Balls, man. Jeez, oh, man. I know you gotta be kind of like at a slight angle, but these guys are like the first people. I guess this is similar to East Book two, One and two, One, though, where like you know, a lot of the first bad guys can kind of kick your ass too. Yeah, I want to see how many. Um. <sighs> yep. This is like the slowest leveling up ever. I mean, it's pretty slow. Oh, okay. Yeah, go fuck yourself, dude. How do I get in there? <laughs> um, I do have the Master System version of, of East Book 1, but I've never played it. That is accurate. <laughs> you want some slow? Oh, fuck you, dude. Get over here. It's pretty slow, then. That is annoying. Fuck! Dude. What's going on? I was, what, three, three experience away from leveling up? Holy shit. I'm getting... Like, terrible. Results. I'm not doing well. The results are in, and I suck. Fuck you guys, seriously.
No, I don't want slow. <laughs> Oops. There we go. Dude, that only brought my hit points up three points. Three points. Hey, at least they're dying faster. Ancient Slate. Okay. No, this um this Turbo Graphics CD version of Eastbook One and Two was my first ever experience with Eastbook One and Two, and so when I saw that it did come out on other systems, I was like, oh, interesting. And so I'd try them out, and it's like, oh no. But the only thing I would consider better than this is the um you know Chronicles and stuff like that. Those collections that they made are freaking awesome. Love the East Chronicles. This game feels super long. I'm going to work on it for several hours. <laughs> oh, and Eve. Oh, God. Oh, I can't imagine, dude. That would have been amazing. To play that and then to play this and you'd be like, whoa. It's such a huge advance. And and I didn't play this until much later in the Turbo's lifespan. Like in 1993 is when I got my Turbo Duo. And um, the only experience I ever had with an East game prior to that was the Super Nintendo version of East 3. And I enjoyed that. I was like, oh, East 3, I like that game. But when East Book 1 and 2 came out, I was like, oh, this would be cool because we can kind of see the prequels, you know? And this game fucking annihilates East 3, especially on the Super Nintendo. Although the Super Nintendo one isn't as bad as people like to give it. It's got a bad rap for some reason. I think it's a fine game. Oh yeah. Leave <clears throat> her alone. Get down. Oops. He just looks at me like, what? What? 
Hmm. Gotta figure out a way to get into that area though. At least I got a chunk of change now again. Jesus Christ. Fuck out of here, you two geeks. Then much later I learned it was originally for PC-88, which I had obviously never heard of. Yeah. You know, same. PC-88 and PC-98. Do you watch the PC-98 or PC-88 Paradise series? It's pretty good. Mr. Jake's. Still can't get him to move, huh? Feels like I do even less damage now. Hmm. Oh no. What do you mean? <laughs> Something bad happening in the election? I love this version as my first introduction to CD games. I was blown away. I recall myself saying. It's talking. This game actually speaking. I would play CD games on a huge stereo too, so I had people come over as they would heard word of mouth how epic CD games were. Later on, I found a copy of the SMS Persian and played through it for fun. That's awesome. That is super cool. Yeah, I couldn't believe it. How freaking great. This music was the game I had. Obviously, I got my turbo. Duo. It's too close, but it's not looking good. Wisconsin so far has failed. Oh no. Well, well. It is luck. I was stole from the. Oh, I already know who you are. I just want to see if you say something different. Okay. Thank you. Remember when public was allowed to count to three? Ugh, dude, I know. It's super frustrating. But didn't, uh, I shoved an entire pizza in my face to try to cope it. <laughs> but didn't last time, like it was looking bad too? Remember his quote was like, uh, I went to bed and I was winning by a lot. When I went, when I woke up in the morning, I was losing by a little. The con is on. Remember that? That's not good, though. It's weird because I felt, at least in central Wisconsin, I felt like it was pretty leaning left. I lived in Canada and they had no CD-ROM units here at first, so I had my uncle in US buy one for me and ship it to me in the Canada. That's awesome. God damn it, stop it. Some old games. Well, at the time they were cutting edge and they were brand new. I just went to vote. I just wanted to vote boobs. Let me have that. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, it's the end of the world. It's the end of the world as we know it. And I feel... Yeah. Not great. Jesus. Ball sack, man. Jeez, old man. Well, that's why we have East Book 1 and 2 here for us, Godspire. Fuck. <sighs> Moving in with you, I know you have enough space. <laughs> yeah, dude, it was really good to hang out with you uh, last Saturday. It's too bad you didn't hang out um, the whole night, though, because we, we wound up, like, watching a lot of crazy old movies and stuff and just chilling out, laughing, joking, eating all that food, drinking all the drinky drinks. But I know you had to jet after a little while. There's a couple of people that ducked out a little early, but the last people that left was around five in the morning. 
And it was not because we were up partying the whole night, it was because they fell asleep. <laughs> I went to bed at like 2. But it was a blast. I was really glad I got to see you for a little bit. I know we didn't chat a whole ton, whole ton, but... I apologize. With my lovely autism and sensory processing, I got stimulated overload and started getting really fatigued. I get that. I get that. I totally do. Um, Zach does uh, have a lot of similarities to you. Zach Hagenbusher. Um, and he went and just sat down in the great room for a while. Matter of fact, I think him and Robert and Schwartzman were down there for a while. I would recommend just doing that. It's like, it's such a peaceful place too, because like when all the kids are here and stuff, it gets to be a little much. And that's where Ania and I go and hang out. She's usually like down on the couches down there. It's just this chill, nice big area. And once it gets a little chillier out, we're gonna put a fire in there, and yeah, it'll be nice. There's always next time. Holy fuck, I almost just got my ass kicked. Dudes! When did I fucking save last? Oh my god, Jaeger. Oh, I'm terrified to even see what that's gonna look like. Oh, awesome. Well, that's actually not too bad. Ah, uh, no, that's bad. That's shitty. That was like 900 experience. Ugh. Oh. Yeah, I gotta get used to this whole saving stuff again. After just playing Castlevania Revamped, it's kind of this, like, newer quality of life type gaming stuff. Where it just continues you right from where you left off. Damn it. Dumbass. Can't believe I did that. Cannot believe I did that. Ugh, oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked to play through East 4 again. So the theory here is that I can play through East 2, 3, and then we'll see how we're feeling after that. I think in this month of November, I should be able to play through 2 and 3. I guess we'll see, but... Um, I'm still not sure if I will be playing these during the morning mug sessions or not, or if I'll play something different. So I've been contemplating just playing East, but then... A lot of you guys that don't tune in at like 6 in the morning um, will be like, wait, 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 we missed like a quarter of the game because you played through two hours worth the other morning. Yeah, and that's true. So I don't want to like mess that up. I like to continue doing it on the same nights. Um, yes, sir. It's ours, I think. Sure. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, sounds good, dude. I'm going to hide here and heal. I used to hear this music like in my dreams. Shit. God damn it, man. What the hell was that? What the hell was that? It's 
game really just throws you off in the deep end. It's like, hey, go go grind for like two hours. You gotta go find some random shit. Not Solomon Shrine music. It's at least like one third of East 2. I know. Dude, I love I love all the music in East 1 though. <laughs> Solomon Shrine's music is great. Similar to Darm Tower being. Yeah. Yep. Oh Jesus. Recently found out there's an Edgar Allan Poe themed bar in our town. So we're gonna go check that out at some point pretty soon. Finally entering the tower. Let's finish this game up. Welcome to the second half of the game. I know it's like 35 floors and it's so good, but it's great. It's so good. <laughs> like, uh, I love the Darm Tower and I love the Darm Tower theme song and I love that East 4 has the Darm Tower in it again and the song's back, but it's more like jazzed up version of it. Oh, God, is it good. I just can't believe like in the succession of this series, you know, East 1, 2, 3, 4, whatever, um, that Hudson, or I mean, sorry, Hudson made East 4 for the PC Engine. Like, Felcom decided to go and make games for the Super Nintendo. East 4 and 5, the official versions of 4 and 5 are on the Super Nintendo. And East 4, the Dawn of East on the PC Engine is not even considered canon. I find that so crazy because it's such a better game. Not to say that East 4 is a bad game, on the Super Nintendo, The Mask of the Sun. Um, but it's nowhere near as good as the PC Engine one. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. <sighs> I could just heal, I suppose. Yeah, that's true. Well, not necessarily in Japan, where it was, so, you know, featured in. But yeah, that's true. If the Super Nintendo would have shipped a lot more units of their games, you'd think that East 4 would have had a chance to be localized in the US then, though. Because East 3 was pretty popular in the US. And it was released on literally every 16-bit system. Which is so weird, because it's kind of the black sheep of the family, you know? East 4 on PC Engine is really well programmed. So much nice animation and art, the game really started to show off what the hard work could do. Yeah, I know. It was always one of those games when I considered, you know, when the Turbo finally like died in the US, like 94. I was considered like there's a handful of games that in my mind could have saved the Turbo. Like East 4, Rondo of Blood, and Street Fighter 2. I think those three games would have. They would have gotten released in the US. I mean, fuck. My vision of it is that I would have sold Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition with the Turbo, with a multi tap. Maybe even the stupid three player multi tap or whatever. And I would have just slapped him in there and said, okay, we're giving you Street Fighter 2 for free if you buy a Turbo Graphics. Could have literally like slapped Ken and Ryu on the cover of it, like Hadoukening each other with the turbo graphics in the middle. Like it didn't matter. Having Championship Edition in the US would have been huge. Utopia 2 is great. Yeah, I played that last year actually. Um, I quite enjoyed that one. It's a, it's a lot of fun. It's one of those games that, and I always joke, you know, like, oh. Zelda and Newtopia and whatever, and how similar they are. But Newtopia 2 really is just a souped up version of Newtopia 1. 
And the fact that Newtopia came out with really only inspiration from the original Zelda um, kind of goes to show you that Nintendo might have looked at the Newtopia games and used some of those features and enhanced Link to the Past because Newtopia 1 came out before Link to the Past. SNES was objectively superior technic technically than the Turbo. And all the industry people knew PC had no future. SNES was still getting started. Uh, I don't know about that. Are you talking about when... Okay, hold on. Are you talking about in 93? When East 4 came out? Because at that point, Nintendo was already starting to like itch at a new console. Because in 94 was when Killer Instinct and... Um, Games also have lead times. Crazy new weapons in Utopia 2 is amazing. Lightning rod, wind rod, grappling hooks. Yeah, no, they used and they used a lot of that in uh, Link to the Past. Like I think Nintendo owes a little bit to Utopia for advancing that style of Zelda. The PCE was still releasing games all the way until like 97 in Japan. I don't think people thought that the turbo was get or the PC engine was getting sunsetted in Japan by 93 or 94. There's still plenty of juice under the hood, especially when the arcade card came out in what 94. All right, let's go see if we can move those guys yet. I don't know how long the various versions of East 4 were in development, but they certainly came out in Japan first, and the licensing decisions had to be made far in advance for the actual development. The only East game, well, yeah, East Book 1 came out on the Master System in the US, and it had a release on, well, that was it. Master System was the only one. And then East 3 on the Super Nintendo and Genesis and TurboGrafx CD, and East Book 1 and 2 on the Turbo CD, but other than that, we didn't get any of them. And there was very little chance of us getting East 4. They never technically were ever released in the US. Still, I think the Order of Calcetta, or whatever, is the retelling of Mask of the Sun. And that was only on like PSP and Vita and a couple other things. And then recently re released or remastered again. So hold on, what is the. Level 39? Weird that your hit points only go up that much. We should go back to town and see if I can buy another weapon. We're not a weapon, but uh. Oh, right, SNES. Nine, and yeah, East 4 was never in the US. Neither was East 4 on the PC Engine, though, either. It could have been, though. Like, that's one of those things where they, East 3 was popular enough um, that it could have been. It could have gotten a US release, and I think done, done just fine. I actually think East 5 is more um, US friendly because of the way that the gameplay is more like a traditional RPG with the sword swinging and the jumping and stuff. So, I don't know. I don't think East, 4, East 5 is inherently a bad game. It just isn't very East-like in the, in the thought. Interpreter was always niche in the USA. I mean, to some extent. To some extent. Oh, hello. I hear you've been looking for me. I am sorry you went through so much trouble. You have done well to collect all the ancient books of East. When the priests disappeared, they left these volumes behind. Their souls are etched within the bindings of these books. In the basement of the ruins, you'll find a place called the Divine Area. Within this area stand six stone statues dedicated to the preservation of our heritage. Please return these books to the memories of our great ancestral priests. A stall can help you find the way. Ah, fuck you, dude. <laughs> My husband's sunning on the front porch. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I just talked to him. There's a big yellow hole. Wait, a big hollow in the basement of the ruins. You cannot go in there without permission from the village. Okay, okay. Okay, Hold on, I want to see what... What's a longsword? Thousand? Let's do it. 
Ah, fifteen hundred. I could go level up for another thousand to get the small shield. Sheesh. Yeah, 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 I gotcha. Oh. Mm. I got some better armor. You already have it, dumbass. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. I like the somber town music. If you see Dr. Flair, be sure to give him the letter. By the way, Lilia doesn't know about her illness. I am so sorry that I cannot help her. Oh yeah, I forgot. I was giving letters to Dr. Flair. The Rancid Village. Um, okay. Wing, ancient stone road tree note. It is addressed to Dr. Flair. Dr. Grant. I'm Dr. Grant. I love the town. I love the town theme song in this game. I gotta remember to do some Duolingo tonight. Wow. <coughs> Let's go grind a little bit. Turbo Duo. Niche, I guess, is a good a good term. Not entirely accurate. I would say underdog. Because, uh... Well, Turbo Graphics was the underdog. Turbo Duo was the, uh... Like, chic way to play Turbo stuff. I, I don't know. It's really weird. Like, I think of Niche as, like something even lower <laughs> like um, like very very few people know about it the turbo duo was was in a in a sense kind of niche but like something like the laser active and laser discs in general that's real niche like that's like you got to be ready to waste some money for very little in return you'll have far less fun with a laser active in the five games that are exclusive for it than just playing on a Super Nintendo or the OG Turbo Graphics, you know? Turbo Duo still had, you know, 150 games for it. Still has support of homebrew. Um, and, the, and the import scene was amazing, so. Is the Wii U niche? Is the Sega Saturn niche? I think weird things. Laser Active, CDI, even the 3DO, $700 console in 1993, that's niche. The cyber trunk of <laughs> cyber trunk of the nineties is the three DO. <laughs> Functionality, eh? You know, it's there. It functions. It's a car. It's a it's a video game system. I need, what, 1,600 to get that shield? The better shield? All right. 
right, all right, I'll open the door for you. You damn well better believe you will. I got permission now. Oh, I remember this music. Oh, shit. But damn! Uh oh. What? Oh. It hit my shield. That's cool. That's cool. It hit my shield. Alright, that's good. Good to know. I was worried that I was gonna. Locked with an immense force. Dun, 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 dun. Am I getting good experience for this? Uh oh, boss time. I feel like I want that other shield first, which might be overkill, but I don't care. Uh oh. <gasps> We're back in the mines, and they call it a mine. Okay, I want to see how much experience I get for these wingdings. 1780. So 1600. 10 experience. Oof, that's a lot. That's a good chunk of people I gotta kill. Okay. These guys do a lot less O and M down here. Oh, that's maybe why. I'm gonna say they do a lot less damage than I do than I take up above. Jesus, ball sack sandwich boy. What the fuck was that all about? Hmm. The ruins. Oh, I'm back here again. How much were the... How much was the better shield? I don't remember anymore. I got a bad memory. This is maybe not the best uh, time to start playing a action RPG when I'm like half asleep. But where? All right, let's go back to town and go buy the other shield. Oh no, wait. I still, oh yeah, I, 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 should, be able to, I should be able to save up. Grab a couple more coins, I'm gonna wait. Grab a couple more coinses. Can I move? Can I take that? I wonder. I don't know if I can or not. I don't know. We're going to find out. Oh. The 
Wand of the Holy World? What the shit? I got the Wand of the Holy World. Well, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's the Wand of the Holy World. You've managed to wrestle it from the goons, I see. That statue back there has a goddess's wand. Legend dictates that only the six priests and the goddesses can use its magic. The wand is a symbol for direction. When you touch the goddess's statue with it, you'll be granted the use of the magical powers. So... What? Okay. When you touch the wand to the statue, you feel a strange sensation throughout your body. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Okay. I'm cool with that. What the fuck, then? Still don't have any magic. <laughs> so... Okay. Hmm. I don't know. What? There are six types of magic hidden in the land of East. Okay. Okie dokie. Artichokey. Oh, you're back? You dweebs. How does he know that? <laughs> I just trust him. He seems trustworthy. Hmm. You seem trustworthy. Remember, he's a random stranger in the mines they've never seen ever before in your entire life. Hmm. You seem trustworthy. All right. All right. I didn't. I didn't. I don't know why I came to visit you right away, because I didn't. I'm sorry. And I'm sorry that your girl doesn't know about her illness either. Hopefully we can save her. Ugh, Dr. Flair. Oh, Dr. Flair. Oh, Dr. Flair. Here we go. Here we go. Boom. Okay. Maybe he's just got that retro game magic or something. What the fuck, dude? Hey, at least it just doesn't make any sense. God damn, I did it again. Okay. There we go. Alright, better armor. We got everything here too, don't we? Yeah, we're good. I love the illustrations of those guys just chilling there. Hello. As I lay in bed this morning, I... Ad oh, yeah. Ugh, he's trapped in the blah, blah, blah. So Dr. Flair is in the mines. Trapped inside. In a cave. Yeah, yeah. And I gotta go save him. Gotcha. But before you... What the fuck, dude? Before you go, let me warn you of the great dangers that lurk in the hallowed halls of the Divine Area. You didn't warn me about shit. Can I shoot magic yet? How do I shoot? Wait. I don't know. There's my girl. My sweet little Lilia. It's my love. I'm gonna marry her someday. Make her mine. Make sweet love in the woods. Okay. Okay then. <laughs> How did I get hit? Hmm. 
When the music loops through, I hear like a metal clanging sound. Am I crazy in hearing that? It goes like, dink, dink, dink. Almost like the drum beat. But it's not the drum beat, it's something different. Dink, dink, dink. Adol, Adol, Adol Christian should be included in the Smash Brothers games. I'm all for that. Okay, here we go. Let's go back in the mines. Uh, let's see if we can go to that um, boss area. Okay, still can't go in there. Fine. Jerks. Otto stares in amazement as the book he was holding suddenly floats from his hand, hands and dissolve into the statue. He then hears a steady low voice speak to him. You are brave. You are a brave soul. I'm glad you came. These are the words of Hadal. Doom is about to strike the land of Is again. The evil spirits in the sky have long been dormant. But recently, they were awakened by their master on the ground. Now they have their orders, and they are terrorizing our people. The evil core is the Solomon Shrine. And the evil core is in the Solomon Shrine. When you return the six books to us, the way to the shrine will open. Be careful in your fight against the bigger demons. You can't destroy them without the magic of fire. <laughs> Do I get magic? Damn it. <laughs> okay. Dun, 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 dun. Go back to hell. Go back to hell. But where? Okay, I've got to stop it. Ba -da 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 -da. Music is so good. Oh. Okay. Not too bad. Okay, so this is where I came from, right? Yep. Okay. Middle. Ah, fuck. Okay. At least... That doesn't do a ton of damage. Oh, I love this music. Wait, what? The hell? Am I in a different divine area now? Oh, apparently I am. Okay, that's fine. Oh, oh, another. Okay, that's right. Adol stares in amazement at this. The book he was holding suddenly floats from his hands and dissolves into the statue. He then hears a steady low voice speak to him. You are a brave soul. I am glad you've come. These are the words of Toba. Each of us six priests has control over a specific magic wand. To reach the evil core, it will be helpful if you have these magical wands. Nice. Okay. Okay, cool. That helps. I think. Yeah, these guys do more damage than the other guys do. Okay. This would be fun to get uh, lost in. This should be back in the divine area. Otto stares in amazement as the book he was holding 
suddenly, once again, floats from his hands and dissolves into the statue. He then hears a steady, low voice speak to him. You are a brave soul. I am glad you've come. These are the words of Dabby. Long ago, there was a tremendous power which lifted our land into the sky. This power surge was the result of an evil presence being born in this world. The source of this power comes from the special magic of Ys. This magic can feed both good and evil causes. However, the evil will never die as long as the magic exists. Wonderful. No. <laughs> they call it a mine. What the fuck, dude? Whoa, where are we going, dude? Oh, that's cool. Oh, a ring. That's cool. I don't know what that does. I don't know. Didn't seem to really do anything. wonder what it does. There we go. Went up a nice little level, that's good. but you're probably avoiding spoilers. Oh, uh... I like assistance if I'm an idiot and I can't figure something out. But, I mean, yeah, I guess otherwise. Oh, look at you, big pigeon. Look, you big pigeon boy. Come here, Mr. Pig. Pig in a skirt. That doesn't really bother me, though. Um, spoilers aren't a thing. I know there's a lot of streamers who don't want any help at all. Oh, well, it's, it's all good either way. He's all good. Oh boy, I wonder what's going to... Oh, fuck. You gotta be shitting me, dude. Okay, let's not go that way. Let's not go that way. Damn. Okay, so that's where I died, huh? <sighs> they call it a mine. Saw boss merely knew. Oh yeah, he is nowhere near ready for this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I guess I'm a little surprised. This is a little more grindy than I remembered, but you know, like you said, maybe I maybe you're right. Like if this is you think this is bad, try the master system one. You'll be grinding for ninety percent of the game. There's just a lot of wandering around. Which is fine. I like wandering around. Wanders from East. I think I already did this one, didn't I? Yeah, I definitely did this one already. Hmm. What was up here again? Jesus. Uh, did I save afterward? Yeah, I saved afterward. Like after I fought that boss? And lost? Yeah, I saved right after it.
You think you see the passage, but it is blocked by a wall of rubble, and you are unable to get through. Oh. Okay. Wear this ring to move with the quickness of a cat. Oh. Okay. This looks new. All right. We're all learning together, dude. Ooh, the pickaxe. I wonder if that will be helpful to move some rubble. Jesus, what did I just do? <laughs> Did I go, like, completely the wrong way? No, I was... How many rooms ago was the rubble? Like, two seconds ago? That guy's creepy. You think you see it? Oh. You swing the pickaxe with all your might. The wall collapses in a heap of rubble. Nice. Oh. Thank you so much. I didn't think I was going to make it. Let me introduce myself. I'm Dr. Flair. Don't worry about me anymore. I think I can make it out of here by myself. Is that letter for me? What? It seems Bernice's daughter is seriously ill. I believe I have an antidote. We'll need two ingredients. One is a carceta flower, which grows only in the banks of shady ponds. The other is, let's see, what was it? Oh yes, it's a rota tree nut. I haven't seen many recently, but we used to be able to pick them in the ruins. I can prepare a suitable remedy if you can bring me these items. Okay. Oh, you cannot go through that passage. We used to be able to get to the divine area from here, but the entrance has been blocked by the fallen wall. It serves its purpose well. Okay. Thank you so much. I didn't think it was going to make it. Oh, fuck. Is he going to say everything again? Oh, God, dude. Oh, is that all? So if I come back in here, is he gone? No, he's still there. All right. Um, hmm. That's why having the wing is important here. I think I already did this area. I'm assuming I already did this area. Yeah. So how many... I only have three books left. That's cool. Let's go up to those damn things to get healed up. That's good. Those damn things. Those damn Dudleys.
Do 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 do. Am I going backwards now? This is back at the beginning, isn't it? Or is it? Or is it? Yeah, it is. All right, this is all the way back to the beginning, beginning. Hmm. I assume there are other spots to dissolve my other three books. Once I do that, then it'll probably open up the rest. Let me go see if uh, Redonculus is uh, back at town yet. Ooh. What the fuck? Oh. Okay. So these guys... I wonder what they're all here for. Ooh. Tink, tink. think pretty close to con in a night guys Put an hour and a half of these two didn't really do much of anything am I definitely oh, okay um didn't do a much but I'll, I'll read up on a few things and where I gotta go next once I get some magic by the way I know a couple of things we need to do there's a magic and then like a bell oh, poor Julia or, uh, Lilia. Okay. Yeah, dude, I saw your buddy. Oh, thank you so much. I wish I had something to offer you. Unfortunately, all I can give you is my gratitude. Yeah. Otto, it's me, Dr. Flair. Please hurry and find the necessary herb. I'll compare... I'll compare... Prepare the Jesus. Hmm. I need to just grind and save up a ton, a fuck ton of money. <laughs> cool. Yeah, I know, I already did. I already did. I already did. Yeah, I know, I get it. Yeah, I know, I get it, lady. I get it. I just get it. What's this one again? Oh, sure, yeah. Yeah, this is the guy with the basement. I need a bell. Ding, 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 ding. And, uh...
Jira's basement it is. All right, let me uh, give it a quick little save here. And then we'll go find somebody cool to raid. Here, I'll turn this music down just a smidge. Because I love this track. Thanks for hanging tonight, guys. It was fun. Um, I feel like we got a good start-ish on East Book 2. Tune in next time, and we'll continue on rocking and rolling through this bad boy until we get through to the end. Peace, Saudi 5000 YouTube world.